After a crash in 2017 that nearly took Scott Berger out of the sport that he loves, he was back and ready to give it his all in 2019 at the brand new venue for the Toyota Desert 1000, Salibi Pickway. Yeah, it's um, my first race in this new FIA uh, cross country series with this car. Um, I still got bad memories two years back of a huge accident, nearly losing my hand. So I need to fight that and uh, concentrate on um, going to Dakar on top of that. But um, first and primary, is going to Dakar, so I need to win this. The Dakar challenge, um, if you win the Dakar challenge, it's a free entry basically to Dakar, which cuts about nearly 15% of your budget. And um, it also makes it the, the ride easier to Dakar with all the experience that you get with the organizers. didn't start perfectly though. A low qualifier down on the prologue put them outside of the top 30, meaning it was going to be early pushing to come all the way from the back of the pack. And the way the new course was laid out, bush and dust were going to make passing near on impossible. Yeah, what a start for me. Um, I had a punch in the first 10, 10 kilometers and, um, you know, uh, the golden rule. The fastest guy is the guy that doesn't get out of the car. And as soon as you break that rule, you lost time. The first race day in the desert was nothing but golden, coming in from Skolk on the wheel and Elvin on the notes, as they climbed from outside the top 30 to inside the top 10 to go to bed, with just 400 kilometers still to go, in with a shout of achieving their ultimate goal of winning the road to Dakar. At this stage, the team were running seventh overall. Caught a couple of guys in the dust, it's very hard to pass in the dust, but we managed to pass. Um, we had to chop a couple of trees down, but uh, we did it. <laughs> the tight, technical and twisty nature of the final day in the desert at the brand new venue for the Toyota Desert 1000 at Salibi Pickway unfortunately cost God the chance of that free ride to Dakar. Nevertheless, a very strong run had the team take a top 10 overall and classified as 8th in Class FIA. Agonizingly, it was a second place in their Road to Dakar challenge. Constant improvement on the season sees Skulk and Alvin charging and now becoming podium threats at every event they arrive at. <laughs> 